you can't visit me for a month especially after we started dating the day before when i are coming to my place for a month I will cross. Cross is expensive these days, guys. I go home. Like Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Prada. Basic bitches for that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Prada. Basic bitches for that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Prada. Basic bitches for that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi. What is good tea gang? It is your girl T. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, then smash the subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a video, baby. Today we are going to be talking about the different types of South African men. So if you have been watching my channel, you saw I did a video on the different types of Zimbabwean men. And someone did drop a suggestion in the comment section below that can I do the different types of South African men. So now this is according to my two cents knowledge, guys, with my dating experience that I've had in South Africa. Uh, so don't come at me I'm just talking according to my own experience so let's get down into the video if you want to check out the video of the different types of Zimbabwean men that I did then check the link in the description box uh, and I will definitely put a video here of the thumbnail so you can go and check it out and get informed on the different kinds of Zimbabwean men after you watch the different kinds of uh, of African men so let's get down into the video First, we have the overprotective guy, the overprotective dude. We all know those guys, they are overprotective. They don't want you to need anyone else in your life. They want you to need them and only them. These kind of guys, um, even when they're struggling, they're struggling in their lives, they're struggling to get things together, but they would do anything to help you out if you need their help so these are the overprotective kind of guys they don't want your friends helping you out they don't want your guy friends helping you out that would really break them if they would know that your guy friend was helping you out they don't want your guy friends helping you out they don't want anyone else helping you out except them they want you to need them they want you to ask help from them they want to be there for you all the time so number one is the overprotective type of guy he is overprotective he wants you to have everything that you need he wants to be the one to provide for everything that you need that is guy number one then we have the gold digger number two is the gold digger yes not only women are gold diggers we do have guys that are gold diggers yes i actually do have experience with a gold digger this type of guy who ask you for money who ask you to do stuff for him and the shocking part about gold diggers guys that are gold diggers uh they don't even these guys don't even wait to say let's date for a month before i start it before i start asking for a favor you start dating today tomorrow morning he's asking you for a favor i mean like hello we started dating just yesterday already asking me for money like what the hell yo i actually have experience with the gold digger guys the gold digger is made funny <laughs> we start dating today tomorrow he's, he calls ah babe can i can you please borrow me like 200 brands uh i need to buy a few things what but let a woman do that. Let a woman date a guy for one day and ask for money. You won't hear the end of it. You won't hear the end of it. But we do have guys that are actually doing the same thing. We have guys who do that. This is the gold digger. So if you see this type of guy, Balega says he's after your money. Balega. That is one typical example of a gold digger. Typical example number two. A gold digger will come visit you at your place. Day one. Day two. Tomorrow is staying for two days. Tomorrow is staying for three days. Next time you're staying for a week. Jiggy jiggy, the person comes with their bag. They're staying with you a month. Patum, how can you visit me for a month? You're staying with me, Mos. Aren't those gold digging tendencies that I should provide for you? You come to my place, you stay for a month, and I am providing for you. You don't even, not even one day, you take out 10 rand and say, Babe, here's 10 rand, I'm going buy bread to eat in the morning you are just there when you are staying for a month hi bo yanko dili grosa grosa is expensive these days guys yanko dili grosa go home hi bo you can't visit me for a month especially after we started dating the day before when i are coming to my place for a month and i'm buying you food hi bo gold digging tendencies balega says 
Number three, we have the Deadbeat Deads. Yeah, I said it. We have those kind of guys. The kind of guys who give you a kid and run away. The kind of guys who run away from responsibility. The kind of guys who have kids all over and run away. We do have those guys. And I've seen them. Two, three kids. Marina is running away from his responsibility. Don't be that guy. So this is the type of... Uh, this is the type of South African guys that I actually see a lot. You give someone a child, you run away. But so why are you making a kid when you know you're not ready to be responsible for that child? You have a child, you have a leg. Why do you guys do that? Anyway, let me not get emotional on this one. But then that is another type of South African guys that I've seen and came across and experienced. Don't be the dead bit dead. Don't be that guy. Number four, we have the mama's boy. Hey, mama's boy ne, will give you a problem. If you are ever involved with the mama's boy, just know that your life is about to become very, very difficult, extremely difficult. Because this guy will consult his mother when it comes to literally anything, literally anything. You want to go on a vacation with your wife or girlfriend, he has to consult his mother first. But to pick your bags, let's go on vacation. Like some things really don't have to do with your mother, you understand. We understand it's your parent, um, you want to involve her, but your relationship issues are your relationship issues. And there are definitely some issues you shouldn't be sharing with your parents. But then the mama's boy will just tell the mother everything. The mama's boy experiences problems. He goes straight to his mother, he runs to his mother. He doesn't even speak to his wife first or girlfriend first. Probably someone he's staying with, your wife, you're staying with your wife. You don't even talk to her first about the problem. You run to your mother. This is the mama's boy. So the mama's boy is very, very sweet. They speak so highly of the mother when you meet them. They do respect so much. So you would think, okay, this guy really, really does respect his mother and loves his mother so much. That is a sweet thing, right? So you know he definitely knows how to treat a woman. But two months, three months down the line in the relationship, you find things are very difficult. This person is a mama's boy. Then we have the stingy guy. Don't be fooled with the stingy guy. He's not broke. The stingy guy is not broke. I'm not talking about a broke guy. I'm talking about a stingy guy. He has the money. He just doesn't want to spend it on you. He just doesn't want to spend because he's stingy. So this type of guys love independent women. They love independent women. They want you to do things on your own. So this, uh, the, this type of guys want a 50-50 kind of relationship. Of which when you get into the relationship, it doesn't end up being 50-50. It ends up being 80-20. He's contributing 20 or contributing 80. So the stingy guy. I have experience with the stingy guy. I remember one day I went to the movies with this um, stingy guy. We went to the movies. Uh, and then I told him aren't you gonna get us snacks because we need to snack when we're in the movies you know what this guy told me this guy told me that you know he ate before he left home so he's full so if i want to get a snack i should get a snack for myself it was a date guys hello we had gone on a date he told me to buy my own snack because he ate at home but he's the one who who took me out on a date then he was saying I should buy my own snack. <sighs> the disappointment of my life. Can't you at least be a gentleman? Don't be the stingy guy. So the stingy guy doesn't love going out on dates. Because he doesn't like spending, right? He doesn't want to spend on you. He doesn't want to spend money. He's stingy. So he prefers not going on dates. Every time you do, you do in the house. You compensate that thing of not taking out on a date with sex. It's always about sex all the time. Because you're always indoors. You don't go out. You don't have adventures. You don't explore anything. You're always in the house. So that's the stingy guy for you. He doesn't go out on dates. So... The time you go out, you are going to a park where you just sit there for free. You can't even buy snacks for picnic. He, he does not that he can't buy. He just doesn't want to. He just doesn't want to because this guy is stingy. But the money he has. 
don't be the stingy guy another type of guy we have we have the sucker for love guys these type of guys are so loving they're full of love they will do anything for you they're just suckers for love man they love love but the sad part about these guys they always get played they always get played but they're so full of love they would do anything for you they respect you so much they would do anything that you tell them to do they just want to be the man in your life you know they just want to be there for you but the third part they always get played you know sometimes if you're too good you get played unfortunately that is life <laughs> when you're too good you get played so certainly for the suckers for love they never have a happy ending lastly we have the career guy never has time for you career guy slash never has time for you i have experience with this one he values his career so much more than anything else in this world his career comes first his career comes first which means he comes first he's selfish it's all about him he doesn't care about anyone else except him 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 actually you can also call him the selfish dude he's selfish never has time never has time for you but it's his career so it's all about him so this type of guy red flag huge red flag most of these guys are in their early 30s late 30s mid 30s not married no kid this type of guys if you see a guy in that age group has no child no wife nothing like my legacy why why obviously something is wrong with this guy usually it's those type of guys who love their career so much like they just let time pass them by they just too focused on their career that a relationship can never work with this type of guys so be careful for those ones anyway we've reached towards the end of this video if i left out any other type of guys that you know please leave it in the comment section down below and give this video a thumbs up share it with your family and friends if you have a video suggestion that i should talk about next time leave it in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye